Minor League Baseball is live and on the air Ladies on the show. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Pawtucket Red Sox and the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders. Marco Hernandez steps in. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Lifted the other way out to left center. Ruda arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now at the plate, Marcus Wilson as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Chopped to third. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Digging in, Jonathan Lucroy. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Dominguez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Ready now, Zach Granite. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1 1. He's taken high above the zone. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Pitch on the way. And he fouls this one off. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. Digging in, Tyler Wade. The second baseman, Tyler Wade. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. At the plate, Brandon Wagner. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Here now the 2-2. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. At the plate, Josh Akami is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Dominguez is right there, and he's got it for out number one. So striding in, Bobby Dahlbeck, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Standing in, C.J. Chatham, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. The count now at two and two. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired.
Now batting, Kellen Deglin. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Fly ball, not particularly deep. Left fielder giving chase, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Stepping up now, Mandy Alvarez. Mandy. Bottom of the second here with no score. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Standing in now, Jason Dominguez down the first baseline. Ground ball left side. He's got it in time to first, and there are two away. Digging in, Ben Ruda. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Ruda. Hard on the ground towards short, and that's through into left, a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. In now, Anthony Volpe. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And it misses three and one now. The three and one pitch. Ground ball right side. Reined in. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Nick Longy. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. The 1 2. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in now, Cesar Puello, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3-2. and two. Tate Matheny waits on deck. Fly ball into straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. At the plate, Tate Matheny. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. All even now, two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right. Here. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now batting the second baseman, Marco Hernandez. Into the box, Marco Hernandez. Hot shot on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. In now, Marcus Wilson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One and one. Here it is. Two and one. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. 
Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Anthony Siegler. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The number nine hitter reaches base safely to start the inning. So here comes the top of the order with a man aboard. The right Zach, Zach Stepping in now, Zach Granite. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Popped him up. Dahlbeck into shallow left. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now at the plate, Brandon Wagner. The first baseman. Siegler leads Wagner. off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Wagner. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. So far on the year, Wagner carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. Liner towards second. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. set for the start of the inning and next to hit is the catcher Jonathan Lucroy this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score you think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in but that hasn't been the case now that the first baseman John so now to the plate, Josh Akami. And a little tapper here in front of the mound as this may work as a sacrifice. Into the box now, Bobby Dahlbeck. He flew out in his last at bat. First and second here with nobody out. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. He pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Wade is calling for it. One out. Digging in for his second at bat, CJ Chatham. CJ Chatham. Now the one and one pitch. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Kellen Deglin. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 2-1. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Stepping in, Mandy Alvarez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last half bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Now batter, fielder, Jason. Into the box now, Jason Dominguez. Popped him up. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. 
Now in the box, Ben Ruda. He reached on a single in his first try. Ruda. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. So digging in now, Anthony Volpe. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Two and two the count. As a look, now the pitch. off making him sweat out there the seventh pitch coming up on he pops it up Hernandez ranging into shallow right he's there to make the play and that'll retire the side Ready to go in the top of the fifth and striding forward the designated hitter Nick Longy. A ball and two strikes now. So far in this game he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away. Now Cesar Puello next. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Count full. Three balls and two strikes. 3-2 pitch. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. Good battle. Count remains full. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. This is on the ground over to first, and that will find its way into right field for a one-out single. The left field, number 32, Tate Matheny. Standing in now, Tate Matheny. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Ready for another shot now, Marco Hernandez. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The 3 1. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Next will be the designated hitter, Anthony Siegler, a base hit in his first trip. upstairs running the count to three and one one thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through he's not known for his offensive prowess but he's putting together a real nice at bat here so the lineup flips over and digging in Zach Granite he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball you could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something, this A.B. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. He's got himself a one-out single. Now a throw Second over to first. Runner back safely. Oh. 
At the plate now, Tyler Wayne. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Popped him up. Hernandez moving to his left. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Brandon now Wagner. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And he'll just step on second for the force, and that'll do it for this half inning. Digging in to try it again, Marcus Wilson. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put it. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Hit on the ground is short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. He's one for two in the ballgame. The 1 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Josh Ockamy. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. The 1-1. Two balls, one strike, the count. Pulled toward right center field. On the run is Granite. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Kyle Hart will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Kyle. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and now it'll be the catcher, Kellen Deglin. the pitch now a ball lined to the left side but this is a foul ball now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning settling in now Mandy Alvarez he doubled earlier and carries a two for two line in the disappearance here's the one and two Ball Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. hit hard towards center that gets down and the inning continues now back left fielder Ben Ruda at the plate Ben Ruda early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side now a move over to first and he'll be back in standing up a runner on first with two away. And it's fouled away. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Chatham is there to make the catch and the side is retired.
ready for another chance. Bobby Dahlbeck. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And he will run this one down. Moving to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. So coming to the now plate, C.J. Chatham, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Chatham. Down low, two balls and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Dan Otero enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Into the box, Nick Longy. Oh, right back to him on the mound. The second for one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Count still full, three and two. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Striding forward now is the DH, Anthony Siegler. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. The 2-1 home. Hit out towards second. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. So now to the plate, Zach Granite. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Line softly toward the hole. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. The batter number 14. Second baseman, Tyler. To the plate now, Tyler Wade. Two balls and a strike. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Here's a fly ball heading for the alley. Outfielders give chase, but they're not going to get there. It's down for extra bases. And the runner will score from second. And he's in safely to third as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Austin Bryce takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Into the box now, Brandon Wagner. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is swung on and missed strike three. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Kellen Deglin, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad bat will continue. Here now the 2 2 is looked at, and the count moves full. 
Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Fouled off. The next 3 2. Fouled away. Men on third with two down. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Wilson is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Leading off the inning, Cesar Puello, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The 1-1. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Otero was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to you. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number now eight. Back. Brooks Kresge gets the call eight. as he'll pitch with one Let's gun in the top of the eighth. Stepping in, Tate Matheny. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And it's fouled away. Ready to deliver the one and two. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. And this is swung on and now missed. Back. Two are quickly Second retired baseball. to start inning Mark number Bell. eight. Hernandez. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Once again, a three two. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. The Digging in once again, Marcus Wilson. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. A 1-1 home. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. Drive and that's a base hit in the center field. The the catcher, Jonathan. Standing in now, Jonathan Lucroy. Slap hard the opposite way. That's in there. Base hit. The runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a three to one ball game. The batter. The first base. So with a left-handed hitter Nine. waiting, they'll go to their own awesome. left-hander out of the bullpen. Stepping in now, Josh Akami. That <laughs> misses, and we're even at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the third baseman, Mandy Alvarez. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. And he's retired one away. 
Digging in and looking for more, Jason Dominguez. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Throw to first is going to beat him, though, as they're able to thwart the bun attempt. Now to the plate, Ben Ruda. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. A 1-1. Strike two, swinging. Two strikes. Hard hit ball to second. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Luis Avilon comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. High and deep to right center. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first out. So stepping in, C.J. Chatham. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. 3-1 count, tying run on the on-deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on three and one. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Now back, the dedicated hitter, Nick Longy. In now, Nick Longy. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. But the runner's back easily. The 3-2 pitch he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now at the plate, Cesar Puello. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Throw over to first, back in standing. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. He strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Well, it's always been festive on Independence Day in the United States, but what makes the party even more fun is winning in front of your home crowd. Makes those fireworks even more enjoyable. Tonight's ball game comes to a close. Three to one, the final. The Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Clark Schmidt takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Luis Avilon closes the door for the save, his 11th of the campaign. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious Rail Riders, three runs on nine hits, two errors. They left eight men on base. For the Pawtucks, one run, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 42 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.